closed our press briefing here. We're supposed to have the press briefing after the meeting with Zek outside uh, Zek's offices, but there was a big truckload of riot police that charged at us, they chased us away, they said you can't have your press briefing here. So in the interest of safety, especially of our, for the state and our journalists, we've decided to reconvene the press briefing. Now, as we reported earlier, a high-level delegation comprised mostly of elections directorate uh, members, including the head of the elections directorate, uh, Councillor Ian Makone, attended upon the offices of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission in order to report a number of our findings um, ever since the commencement of the voters' role inspection process. Now we've got peace teams in every single province of the country and chain champions who've been monitoring uh, how the process has been uh, going on and we're in the process of compiling a dossier. We already have a log uh, of all the complaints that we are receiving both from uh, chain champions but also from the general public and uh, the trend that has emerged is, is a disturbing one. Now, we are saying this because the voters' role has been one of the chief demands of the Triple C uh, when it comes to electoral reforms. We have said unequivocally that we cannot have an election in this country without a credible, searchable, analyzable copy of the voters' role. We have to have an electronic version of this. And the events of the last few days have demonstrated precisely why that is necessary. We've seen that in a number of areas. There have been mass transfers, emissions of voters from the voters' role. So someone, a citizen, will go inspect the voters' role at a polling station that they've always voted at and find that their name is not there. We've repeatedly received this complaint and it's something that's great cause for concern. We need answers from Zek because the very people who can't find their names in the voters' role received uh, that text message uh, from ZANU PF saying welcome to this newly delimited, <coughs> delimited ward. Uh, and so there has been some sort of voters role, but why, why the change? Why are they no longer there? We also have instances where uh, people from the same family, citizens from the same family who live in the same house submitted the exact same uh, proof of residence are simply not anywhere to be uh, found or are in different wards altogether. We also have very big problems. We've uh, spotlighted Bulawayo in particular, huge anomalies there and a, a delegation of Triple C members actually went to engage uh, the ZEC provincial office <coughs> in Bulawayo. We've got a number of irregularities where in some instances, uh, citizens have been uh, assigned polling stations that are two combis away from where they live. That's not uh, the, the correct way to assign a polling station. You can't put someone so far that they basically cannot get uh, to, to their polling station on voting day. Nothing short of a credible voter's role is acceptable to the Triple C. And we've said that we're going to do everything within our power to ensure we get that voter's role. Uh, President Nelson Chamisa has said, and we've said time and again, that the voter's role is a red line issue. Obviously, subject to all our conduct being constitutional, our conduct being peaceful, we're going to leave no stone unturned in our demand and imposing political pressure, peacefully of course, constitutionally of course, to obtain a copy of that voter's role. Now, when it comes to the rollout of the process, ZEC itself has conceded that they've had huge logistical challenges. In fact, on day one, in most instances, particularly Bulawayo, the process started late, uh, almost a day late. There was simply nobody there at the polling station that had been publicized by ZEC. That does not bode well, it doesn't give the citizens confidence, and it certainly doesn't uh, comply with what we uh, expect in terms of the, the constitutional uh, standard, which is that the election must be free, fair, credible, and verifiable. This verifiability uh, component is extremely important. So what do we demand? We're demanding, number one, an, ins uh, an extension of the voters' role inspection process. There simply hasn't been enough time, certainly not enough voter education, and certainly not enough organizational capacity uh, on the part of ZEC. You cannot have a, a voters' role that is, uh, has got large gaps, where we don't have clear explanations, new voters don't know their polling station. How can that be the voters' role that we go into the election with? We also have a huge problem with FAS. In every single province of the country, FAS, which is a shadowy ZANU-PF outfit, has been terrorizing citizens, has been interfering with the process, and in some 
cases, actually taking control of the entire voter inspection process, moving Zek officials from their seats and taking over, wearing bibs, and removing police officers. We cannot have that sort of conduct uh, three months away from the election. So we demand from Zek, because Zek is the body that is constitutionally man mandated with controlling this election with making sure that they deliver a, a credible election. Who are these people? Why are they being allowed uh, to operate within, within the tents, within the polling stations? Why are they terrorizing ZEC officials? Why are they terrorizing uh, citizens? Why are they profiling citizens? You know, especially in the rural areas where this complaint is also dominant, they have their books and they're asking for details. That's unconstitutional conduct. Our electoral law simply does not allow for FAS or any shadowy outfit uh, to perform that sort of role. They're not a constitutional body, they're not a statutory body, they're not an administrative body, so why are they being allowed to do this? It puts paid to what we've been saying, that ZANU-PF is trying uh, you know, to, to impose these electoral malpractices and the citizens are having none of it. In fact, we had an incident uh, in one of the provinces, I won't disclose which one, where citizens actually had to take uh, you know, the FAS officials to, to the provincial police officer and say, no, we're not going to have that here. The citizens are drawing a red line and saying no. So what we demand from Zek is an explanation. What, who are these people? Why are they being allowed uh, to get away with murder? Now, we've also um, indicated on the mass removal of names, we purchased a copy of the voters' roll in 2022. So this mass removal of names is simply not going to fly with the citizens. We've got the last voter's roll, electronic, electronic, analyzable, searchable, which they publish. So we're not going to let them get, a, get away with just saying X doesn't appear in the voter's roll. We demand answers. And, uh, you know, we've been very clear that we're going to mount all political pressure peacefully and necessary to ensure we get that copy of the, the voter's roll. We also have a, a very disturbing report that ZANU-PF officials... Uh, in regalia are terrorizing citizens at inspection centers. They have no right to intimidate or terrorize our citizens. The Triple C believes in peace and, and the, the peace prerogative is non-negotiable on our part. And we have said we've dispatched peace monitors everywhere and we said we're not going to play into the hands of ZANU-PF. We're not going to take the bait of violence, but we're not also going to stand back as they uh, terrorize citizens who are trying to inspect the voters' role. Now we come to the citizens. What is our clarion call? As the Triple C, we're going to lead the charge uh, in as far as the Defend the Vote campaign is concerned. We've already uh, nearly completed uh, the mobilization of 48,000 polling agents for every single polling station throughout the country. Now, we are running this uh, inspection process and mobilizing citizens. We call upon every single citizen. Don't just stop at star 265 hash. Go to your nearest polling station. Go and inspect. We know ZEC is trying to frustrate the citizens. We know that the USSD uh, uh, plat platform or, or portal, most of the time it's down. Most of the time you have a situation where it's not up to date. New voters a lot of the time are not appearing into, in it. Uh, transferred voters aren't appearing as well. We expect that to be fixed, but we're not going to stop uh, carrying out the, this inspection process because we know that uh, you know apathy means a win for ZANU-PF. Apathy is ZANU-PF's biggest campaign manager. Apathy is ZANU-PF's goal or entry uh, into a, a victory. So we're not going to allow that. Apathy is not an option. We're saying we've identified the citizens are vigilant. They've identified these anomalies in the voters' role. And so what we expect from ZEC is for them to be fixed. We're not going to sit back and say elections don't work. Elections do work. And we're going to vote overwhelmingly for change. We can see that uh, you know our mass registration process was very effective. We've got over 2 million new uh, newly registered voters uh, ever since the, the, the blitz has started and all of that shows that the citizens are hungry uh, for change and they know that elections are our only way out so let's complete the mission by ensuring that we vote big on election day we continue to defend the vote we must stay vigilant at all times and so we call upon citizens we've got two days left but we're calling for 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 zec to extend that process fix your ussd portal Make sure it's up to date. Bring your voters' roll up to date and give us, most importantly, uh, a copy of the voters' roll in analyzable, searchable format. We're not going back on that demand. So I think without further ado, that will be the end of our press. Unless, uh, you know, there are one or two questions uh, that you may have. As usual, just identify yourself, which news house you're from, and we'll take those questions and then immediately uh, close the press briefing. Thank you. Yes, sir.
Okay, um, the losing of VOA is two percent. Yes. So, um, I'm saying you don't have the voters. Uh, yes. No. The, no. Even in the hard copy format. No. So the Triple C does not have a copy of the voters' roll. Uh, I'm sure you all saw that we even went to court to demand this voters' roll. But what's interesting is ZANU PF <coughs> appears to have a copy of that voters' roll. You don't hear ZANU PF complaining that they don't know which polling station to go to. In fact, we saw uh, Mr. Mnangagwa send us all those SMSs that had the redrawn boundaries, that had, they had your phone number, they knew which constituency you were in. So it seems as though there has been some favoritism going on. And the Constitution says in very clear terms that ZEC must be independent, it must be non-partisan, it must be professional in the execution of its duty. So we demand a copy of that voters' roll. The Triple C doesn't have it. It appears that ZANU PF, we say, uh, we su suspect very strongly that they've got it, and that's not fair. We expect a free and fair playing field uh, as we approach the 2023 election. Okay, yes, sir. Let's way? just get someone else. We'll come to okay. you after we've had an, a round. Thank my, you. My name is Manashi Makofa, Sources Media. Yes. Ages. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, your position as Triple C. Um, Mr. Nagako was, actually, the president was uh, inaugurated uh, last year, uh, in 2018, in August. And it seems like they're in a constitutional crisis. What's your position? Well, the Triple C has said for a very long time that we've got a deep-seated socio-political, economic, and bad governance crisis in Zimbabwe. In fact, all you need to do is to walk into any shop. Uh, and you'll see that the economy itself has entered the, uh, entered the election. I think we've set a new world, world record where we've got the highest hyperinflation rate in the world, over 700%. Half the population, 49%, according to the World Bank, are living in extreme poverty. We can see the dilapidated state of our hospitals, our schools, our public infrastructure. All of that points to, uh, it's something even bigger than a constitutional crisis. It's in fact a humanitarian crisis. The fact that we've got all these diseases that are spreading and simply no public health care uh, system to, to carry the citizens. What this means, the only solution to this bad governance uh, disease, this crisis, is for us to vote overwhelmingly for change, for a government that puts the citizens at the center of all decision making, that won't be looting two and a half billion every single year, where you've got gold mafia, fuel mafia, lithium mafia, crow mafia, we cannot have that anymore. That's a crisis uh, that the Zimbabwean citizens simply can't bear any longer, and we must vote for change. We simply have no option. Apathy is not a choice that Zimbabweans have. Is there one more question before we close? I'm saying, what happened on your way from ZEC? What happened? So when we were, in fact, when we came down from ZEC, we had uh, an engagement with ZEC. Uh, we will speak about the outcome of that in due course because we're actually going to follow it up. We're going to deliver the, the hard evidence of everything that we're saying, the dossier included, and also we want to see uh, uh, the senior officials uh, at ZEC. But what surprised us is that by the time we came down the stairs, riot police had mobilized a massive truck that charged violently at us. Now, we don't expect that in a constitutional democracy. We don't expect that when all we're trying to do is to be peaceful and reasonable and engage an administrative authority. We don't expect that three months before the election. The Triple C, as a legally and constitutionally recognized body, we've got the right to citizens under Section 67 to express our will through the ballot. So we don't expect to be chased by riot police for simply articulating something that every single citizen uh, is experiencing. Our right to speak freely about the challenges that citizens are facing uh, with the voters' role inspection process is our right. And we take huge umbrage with the police behaving in that way. We expect the police to comply with their constitutional obligation to be professional, to be independent, to be non-partisan. Why would you charge at the Triple C? These are the same police officers that sit back when ZANU PF FAS takes control of a whole voters' role inspection process. We won't tolerate that this year. We demand peace and a credible election. Thank you.